Welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. Today, I want to talk about something that I really like to do um, to thicken tracks up when you're working uh, in a DAW. And um, to start with, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to duplicate a track in um, Soundtrap. So if you've got a track that's already set, like this Asian Sun Pluck, which sounds like this. That's really cool. I totally dig that. So what if I want to duplicate it? Well, I can come to these three dots right here and then come down to duplicate track. And now I have two of the same exact track, which doesn't sound any really any different. Sounds slightly louder, but not really that much different. So I'm going to change the synth here to let's see actually let's make this a grand piano under electric grand dream that sounds good okay so that's kind of groovy uh, i'm actually going to duplicate this electric dream again because i like that sound but this time i want not only this uh, set of notes to be there, but I also want the set of notes to be exactly one octave higher. Well, if this is called transposing, so if I right click, I can come down here to the change pitch area and I have the ability to transpose. So this is by half steps. I can go down an octave or anywhere in between or up by half step or anywhere in between. I will say if you go like, you have to be really careful with something dense and cordy like that. If you just go up a plus one, which is tempting, then it's gonna sound something like this. That is not appealing. So I'm going to set my pitch back down one and now it'll be back together. Uh, seven plus seven might be uh, somewhat of a reasonable choice. That's a fifth in music. Something that might be appealing. We're going to come negative seven to get back to the original. The most common choice you would probably want to do is to go up an octave or plus 12. And that's going to create a lot of extra thickness in this track. So here we go. Without the octave. With the octave. So that's something that you could do then to make uh, a thicker sounding chord bass using duplicating tracks and transposition. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, this has been another Roaring Records tutorial.